Imagine you're in a restaurant. The food is really good, but the background noise is so loud, you can't talk to your company. Would you choose to go there again? This is the choice marine mammals like these have to make when they decide to catch fish in offshore wind farms in the North Sea. Why? Because the offshore wind farms produce a lot of noise. Did you know Belgium has the highest proportion of its sea space dedicated to wind farms in the world? And it is planning to double this by 2030. However, if we're not careful about where and how offshore wind farms are installed, they will cause major harm to marine biodiversity. Why? In part because of the underwater noise they generate. The noise of the wind farms is quite uncomfortable for small dolphin-like animals like these. Their name is harbor porpoises. And yes, they are common in the North Sea throughout the whole year. Porpoises continuously use sound and they do this for three main reasons. To find their way in our murky waters, to communicate with members of their own species and to catch their prey. So we would expect them to avoid the noisy wind farm area. However, the turbine foundations also act as artificial reefs, producing and attracting more fish than the surrounding sandy seafloor. In my research, I wanted to find out how the wind farm noise affects the porpoise. To study this, I use underwater microphones called hydrophones. They allow me to identify where and when the porpoises are catching prey. I measure underwater noise and study their behavior in different wind farms. In this way, we can determine if and when the porpoises are willing to tolerate a noisier environment in exchange for more abundant food. Of course, we want wind farms to produce more renewable energy, but we must minimize the negative effects on our marine biodiversity. Therefore, I will produce recommendations to engineers and policymakers on how to build the future offshore wind farms, so that our porpoise can enjoy his meal at a quiet underwater restaurant.